Hi, my name is Robert and today I'll be showing you here a very nice trick in Excel. Um, as you can see we have a picture here and we have uh, several names and let's suppose for example you typed here uh, turtle. Now when you press enter now the picture changes to the picture of a turtle and if you typed uh, iguana for example you would get a picture of uh, an iguana. Now I have these pictures here on the sheet number two and that's uh, precisely what I will be showing here uh, how you can uh, create this in Excel without using any macro. So let's create here a uh, new file. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, uh, well in this case you can leave all the sheets but it doesn't matter. Um, let's start with uh, sheet number two. Uh, the first thing you're gonna be increasing here the size of the column and also the size uh, of the row. Uh, second, we're going to be inserting the pictures. So we go here, uh, and you can choose your pictures. Uh, let me just make this smaller, so I can choose the pictures um, that I had saved uh, previously. So I have here my test images. Let's select the uh, three of them. So the pictures now have been imported, and all you have to do is to um, drag each one of the pictures into um, a cell. So um, let's just make this a little bit bigger so they can fit in. So let's put here uh, turtle and finally let's put always oh, naked there. So each one of the pictures is uh, inside its own cell. Um, in fact the snake is not but you can move that um, easily inside uh, the cell. Okay with that done the next thing we want to do is to um, remove the grid line. So we go to the Office button, Excel Options, uh, Advanced, and then you're going to scroll down until you find here Show Grid Lines. You click on it, click OK, and you're done with it. So we have here the iguana, turtle, and a snake. So we're going to type this here. We have the um, iguana, turtle, and a snake. And the other thing I'm going to do here is simply uh, add the numbers 1, 2, and 3 because that's uh, A1, A2, and A3. And then if you had more pictures like uh, A4, A5, etc. So you would just put the name here and continue adding uh, the numbers. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do, uh, this is not really necessary, but you can do this uh, just for your own benefit. Uh, I'm going to create here a name and let's call this... Um, list and I'm gonna use here a dynamic name and I'm gonna be using the offset um, function the offsetting is gonna be starting here there's no movement in row or column then um, I'll be counting uh, the values on this column and then the width of this list is gonna be equal to 1 so I can click OK and I can test uh, my list here. So I just type list. And if I press Control Shift Enter, uh, I get an error uh, because there is something wrong in my in my name here. So we can go back at it. Yes, I missed uh, a letter here, count A. So hopefully that should do it. Yes. So we have now the list. And here on A1, I'm going to create a data validation and I'm going to be using a list. And the data source is going to be equal to the name we just created, which is list. So we can now select uh, from here. Uh, the next objective I will show you here uh, in the cell before I create the name. So we're going to do a uh, vertical lookup. Uh, we're going to be looking up for the value uh, in A1. We can actually uh, fix this. The value is going to be looked up um, in our list here, so I can select a few um, extra cells. doesn't really matter. I'll just lock uh, the cells here. The value is going to be looked up on the uh, second column, and that's an exact match. So I can press Enter. So Iguana is found uh, in A1. And the next thing I'm going to do, because it's inside uh, sheet number two, then I'm going to uh, concatenate this. So it's going to be sheet two, exclamation mark. And because we know everything, all the pictures are going to be put in uh, column A, so we're going to be locking column A. And we will concatenate this 
with the result of our lookup. So we will get this. Uh, now, what I will do, uh, I will copy this and I will create uh, a name. So we go back to formulas. Um, let's create here a name and let's call this name uh, image. And I'm going to paste here uh, the formula I had just created and then I will use the uh, indirect uh, function to return uh, the value inside that uh, that cell. So we can click OK and we can finally close. So I can get rid of this what I had typed here and I have uh, the camera up here actually if you want to add the camera because I had already done you go to the officer bottom uh, Excel options then you go to uh, customize and here you have uh, commands not in the ribbon and as you can see the camera is down here all you have to do then is just click on add and then it will be added to your uh, QAT your quick access to bar so let's just cancel this and so now all I have to do is um, to click on the um, camera tool and then I'll just click somewhere oh, well I got a picture obviously of um, the text on the A1 because that was the cell which was um, highlighted when I clicked on the camera uh, but as you can see up here in the formula bar, I have uh, A1 as being the source of the image. But actually, I want the name I had uh, created. So I'll just type in image. And I have there uh, iguana. You could, of course, um, change here You know the background of um, your picture. So you could format picture. And then you could say you don't want any fill, for example, or you don't want any line. And you get rid of that. So you have simply the picture and of course now if I change turtle then you should get turtle if I change to snake etc so you would be getting um, the values there and as I said if I wanted to um, add something else I could come back here and insert a picture um, let's see um, some other picture that I I have here uh, let's see some nice picture Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Let's go for this one. It's probably a large, yeah, it's a large image, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just make it smaller up here. Uh, 4.08 centimeters. That's the size of the other pictures. So um, I'll just add the picture here to cell A4. And let's call this uh, pick and let's call it 4. And then I should have the name here in my list. And if I click on pick now, yes, I get uh, the picture that I want. So this is a very nice and neat trick. You don't have to use um, any VBA to do this. As, as you saw, it's very, very simple. And you can use it, uh, you know, if you say you have a list of products and you have pictures for those products. So you could create this list and then using this technique, you can very easily you know, choose a product and you could see the image uh, related to that product. So until next time, my name is Robert.